In this video, we're going to learn how to compare two folders using Folder Match version 4 by Salty Brine Software. When you first launch the program, the first window that comes up is the one we're looking at here. This is called the Start Page. To compare folders, we want to click on the Compare Folders button on the navigation bar. And when we do, we're prompted to enter two folders, a left folder and a right folder. We enter the folders in the dotted rectangular areas. Now there are several ways that we can enter folders into those areas. One being we can drag a file from anywhere in Windows into one of the areas. Another way is we can use the click here link. When we click on that, we're prompted for a folder in the browse for folder dialog. And now we've got a pair of folders that we can compare if we wanted to. So that's how we would in select individual folders. But we can also select a pair of folders at one time. Once we compare a set of folders in Folder Match, Folder Match remembers that pair of comparisons and as a recent comparison. So if we come up to the right, upper right corner of this window, see a recent comparisons link. If we click on that, a window is going to come up listing the last 20 recent comparisons. If we select one of those, the pair of folders is now filled in in the left and the right folder. So we're ready now to compare these two folders. If we wanted to, as an optional step, we can click on the options link down here and change the comparison options. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple, just use the default options. So let's go ahead and run this comparison by clicking on the ready button. When we do that, the compare folders window is going to come up with the contents of each folder shown side by side and the comparison results shown. In order to understand the comparison results at first, we're going to rely pretty heavily on this legend. If you notice that every subfolder and file has an image to the left of it, those images mean something. They tell us what the result of the comparison is between the two items. Let's take the first one just as an example. This app text resource files folder has a folder icon with a purple X. If we refer to the legend, we see that a purple folder, excuse me, a folder icon with a purple X means that this is a different folder. The folder exists on both sides, but there are differences between the two. We can view the differences by right clicking on it and say show subfolder differences. And the differences are shown, and we can choose to synchronize those folders at this time, those subfolders, or we can just click this and go back. And so we can do that for each of the uh, results shown. We can use the legend to tell us what the differences are. Okay, so what else can we do on this window? We can filter these results shown because right now we're seeing, I'm, so I'm going to scroll down here, we're showing all the files and the subfolders in the two folders. We may not be interested in that. For example, uh, we may just want to see the differences so that we can work on those. Using this results to show area down here, we can filter the results that are shown. Right now, we're viewing all files and folders. We can instead click on that and select differences only. And now, only the differences are shown to us. We can control the differences shown even more than that using these options to the right. We can filter by name. We can filter by type of file. It's going to take a second to load up there. We can filter by the date of the files, we can filter by the size, or we can filter by the comparison result icons that we just talked about earlier. And once we make those choices, we can we can save that with a with a a name that we give it so that it, and that name is going to appear in the list later on it'll be added to the bottom of this list and we could just select that view filter to quickly filter the results shown. So that's one thing we could do. Another thing we can do is we can work on these differences. We might want to reconcile these differences. Uh, here are some things we can do. We can select some files and we can click on copy on the toolbar and copy the files over. And now those files have been copied over. We can move files like that. We can delete files. Um, we can synchronize the differences by clicking on the synchronize button and choosing one of the synchronization methods. 
For example, if I choose make the right folder same as the left folder and click on OK, um, I will see a confirmation window showing me what the differences are between the two windows. And this is taking a moment here because my E drive is a slow external hard drive here. This window will actually come up very quickly on most computers. But of course, because we're moving, there we go. Uh, so we could continue with the synchronization and that will uh, perform the actions shown here, copying the files on this side over to the right or deleting these files from this side. I'm gonna cancel out of this for right now. Uh, and uh, also we can do other things. We've got some tools that are available to us. So for example, we can select some files and then go to the tools menu and we can select the various options. For example, we can choose to rename these items and a rename window will come up with the select items shown. Uh, what other options do we want to talk about? We can come over and we can view the hex dump of a file. For example, we can, if we want to change the timestamp of files, we can select them and choose the change date tamp, uh, excuse me, uh, date time stamps. And we can do that in here. So that's just kind of a quick overview of how to compare two folders, how to work with the results, how to understand the results. Um, and that will end this video.